Good morning, John Glenn. Today is Tuesday, the 7th, 2023. I'm Gavin, and this is the view from the Falcon's Nest. This is Black History Month when we recognize the contributions of African Americans throughout the course of history. One of those worth noting is Thomas Jennings, who was known for two things. He invented the dry cleaning process that is still used today, and he was also the first African American to receive a patent for an invention. Tomorrow night is John Glenn's intramural volleyball game. Players should plan on wearing appropriate attire and be ready to go by 6 p.m. on Wednesday in the Ox Gym. Anyone is welcome to come and watch. Tuesday's dress up day relates to your hallway theme. Freshmen, Under the Sea, jun or sophomores, Jimmy John's, juniors, Jail the Jimmies, and seniors, Alice in Wonderland. Homecoming court members should plan on having a walkthrough tomorrow during SA or SRT. A special thank you to all the students who came in on Sunday to decorate the hallways. Your efforts are amazing. What can you expect on the SAT when you take it March 1st? According to Prep Zone Academy, you can expect an English portion that has 44 reading questions and 52 writing questions. You can prepare for this by building your stamina, stamina, stamina each week until the test by taking a practice test. Track the questions you missed on the practice test and determine what, was, what the correct answer was. Make sure you allocate enough time for each question. When you receive your score, you'll learn that you're scored in a certain percentile. If you scored in the 65th percentile, that means you scored better than almost two-thirds of the students who take the test. And that's today's Ready, Set, SAT. Tomorrow's Spirit Day will be Let Us Celebrate. Staff, you will be Green Goddess. Seniors, Thousand Island, which is island and beachwear. Juniors, Caesar, Togas. Sophomores, Ranch, Western Wear. And freshmen, Olive or Oil and Vinegar. Mismatch. Show off your creativity and your school spirit and help earn those points for your class. The senior board has compiled a John Glenn scavenger hunt for homecoming. Please check your email and read the directions sent carefully. Individuals with correct answers to the scavenger hunt can win points towards the spirit stick for their class. The ballot has been sent to all students and staff for the homecoming king and queen voting. Please take a moment to make your selections. Voting will close Thursday, February 9th at 3 p.m. Now to weather with Canyon. Today it's going to be breezy, 47, VFL 40, wind speed is going to be north northeast at 18 miles per hour. For today's forecast, it's going to be Wednesday is going to be a high 43, cloudy, low 28. Thursday it's going to be a high 53, cloudy again, low 36. And Friday it's going to be high 37, cloudy, low 29. Now let's go to Nathan. The Northern Indiana Conference Girls Basketball Honors have been announced and Glenn has a player on the all-conference second team. Senior Kennedy Hayden was named to the team. Top-ranked South Bend Washington placed all five of its starters on the first team or second team. Nevaeh Foster of Marion was named the, the NIC Player of the Year. Will Cody of Elkhart was named Coach of the Year. Hayden and the Lady Falcons reached the championship game of the Bremen sectional, bowing to a three-loss Tippecanoe Valley team. The Lady Falcons went into the sectional championship 20-point underdogs, but you would but you would never have guessed in the, with the effort that they gave. Going into the fourth quarter, the Lady Falcons were down by five and eventually cut the deficit to three later in the fourth. The girls have the girls gave it everything they gave they everything they had just came up short against 21 and three Tippy Tippy Valley. Leading the way for the Falcons was Sophia Romer with 13, Kennedy Hayden with 10, Olivia Turnage and Addison Reese chipped in six each. The Falcons competed at the Crown Point IHSAA Regional on Saturday and had three of the nine wrestlers move on to the next step in the, set in the state series. Sophomore Brody King finished regional runner-up at 113. Senior Bentley Whitmer finished in third place at 126. And junior Mason Cobalt finished regional runner-up at 170. Austin Pranger, Walter Drews, Brady Hesch, Sam Strange, Cam Hardesty all concluded their seasons at one of their toughest regionals in the state. Congrats on a great season, boys. Now to lunch with Candy. For today, we're going to be having cold bo boy cheese omelet, crunchy parlay patty, crispy cubed potatoes, baked cinnamon apples, and fresh fruits. That's all I have for today, Falcons, and have an amazing day.